Now that we've added a customer to the system, let's add an administrator for that customer. So we'll go over to the customer, we'll hit new and then user. You'll see that we're gonna be able to enter an email address. And then if we don't want the email address to be their login, we can choose something else. We can change it to something more appropriate for that particular user. Then we'll be also be able to choose their individual language and we'll optionally be able to set their first and last name. But down below, it's what's important. We can set this person to be a company administrator, but if we don't want them to be a company administrator for all purposes, we can deselect that and we'll be presented with other options. In addition, we can make them a user or an administrator for any of the services that we need to. So we might want to make them just an end user on an individual product. So like file sync and share. Alternatively, we can make them a company administrator and create them. And you'll see that they're in the system. In a moment, they will get an activation link that's been sent to them and they'll be able to activate this account in the same way that you did when you created your trial account.